planning for data and coax inside your residential build. Now, with the NBN, there's actually a lot of guidelines that have come through from the government on how, do, how can electricians plan for that. Now, I'll give you an idea of what a central distribution point is, and why that's important in this discussion. So you can see here, we've got a bunch of ethernet cables, we've got some coax cables, and all of these are actually away from my main switchboard. Now you don't want to have it too close to the switchboard because it provides interference. So what we've got here is a coax cable that's going to every single bedroom. We've also got an ethernet cable that's going to every single bedroom. Got an ethernet cable, got two ethernet cables going to the TV point um, inside the lounge room and an ethernet cable going to the back of the fridge because now appliances start to get uh, internet enabled. This is part of the guidelines as well. Um, there's different standards that you can go by um, and that just gives you an idea of where you should put these. We've also got two ethernet cables going to outside where the NBN will be connected. This means that if screw goes through one, we've got a backup altogether. I like to run double so you've got redundancy there. Now, I'll give you an example of where this runs. So here you'll have all these cables that are going to your different bedroom points and I've got a nice power point here. What will happen is that will have little patch cables that come out going to a router and then from the router it will also have the connection for the internet. So the internet comes in here from the NBN and supplies all of the rooms. Same sort of thing happens here with the coax. So one of these cables is coming down from our TV aerial, and then all of these are going off to the bedrooms and the TV point. Now, the reason why we bring it here as the central distribution point, instead of putting a um, connection up, in, a splitter up in the roof, is so that way you can um, change these from being TV points to Foxtel points if you want. That makes it nice and easy to do this change just inside the cupboard. I'll give you a quick look at this example of a television. Got wall mounted points here. Here's Ethernet and coax, Ethernet and coax, so you can connect the TV or you can connect your Foxtel points here. I have a quick look at the uh, fridge point here. See our Ethernet point up here for the fridge. Water for it as well. And then I'll show you an example of your bedrooms. Down here, a point for the Ethernet and TV for the bedrooms. Last is the uh, point all the way at the front for the NBN. Now, that gives you an example of how to wire for the new world when it comes to data. Hope you enjoyed this. Tips by Aiden.